Guys, don't get confused. I'm not going to the kitchen to cook with the apron. I'm here to talk about the organs. So that's why you can see all my organs. Let's start. Brain. Brain and spine got work to get the sense signals. It controls the movement of arms and legs, behavior, thought and memory. Location is within the skull. Fun fact. 70% of your brain is made of water. That's why it's squishy. Your brain is even working when you are sleeping in the form of veins. Guys, now it's hard to pump the blood throughout the body. Provide oxygen with blood required to live. Location, where is it located? And left side of our chest. Fun fact, your heart can even be beating when disconnected from the body. It beats about 100,000 times in a day. That's so cool, that's so much, right? Now it is our lungs. Just breathe. Okay, I've got some oxygen now. I can have more breath. <laughs> Let's talk about the lungs. The process of gas exchange is called respiration. It's there responsible for adding oxygen and removing carbon dioxide from the blood. Like a tune, like inhale. You are inhaling the oxygen and when you're exhaling, you are taking out the carbon dioxide from your blood. The fun fact about the lungs. Let's get started. The healthy lungs will float in the water and then diseased lungs will sink in the water. They are not in the same size because if they were in the same size, then how can they accommodate the heart? Like the heart can't fit. And the heart is the really important muscle of the body. Muscle. Body. <laughs> stomach. But what does the stomach do? The stomach helps to digest the food. Who wants to join me in the digestive system? You, 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 you. Okay. Let's start. So first, you eat your food. I'm off to the cake. That was delicious. So now, I eat the food. Then it goes to your pipe. Easy to get a pipe over here. Then to your stomach. The food stays to your stomach for 4 hours. Then it goes to your small intestine, the large intestine. And then it comes to the form of the this. Tube. Yuck. That's very really yucky. It's time for the liver. Let's do this. Okay, so what does the liver do? The liver cleans the blood. It produces an important liquid called bile. Important digestive liquid called bile. It stores energy from carbs so that you can run faster and faster and faster. I'm running already. <laughs> okay, where is liver located? At the right side of our upper abdomen. Now it is Fun fact, if 75% of your liver was moved and 25% is left, then that 25% can regenerate a whole sized liver in 8 to 15 days. Now it is our kidneys. Let's start. So, what does the kidney do? It filters the blood. That's the fine. One makes the blood come in, one makes the blood come out, one makes the waste material come out. And the waste material goes to our bladder and comes in the form of urine, like pee. And it, it controls our body's fluid balance. It keeps the right levels of electrolytes. Location. Where is it located? At the back side of our upper abdomen. Now it is a small intestine. What does this small intestine do? It absorbs 80% of the ingested water and 80% of the nutrients in the food. When the nutrients are absorbed, where does it go? To the bloodstream, through its walls. Fun 
fact about this my intestine. So it's the longest part in the digestive tract. Just to the human diameter it's small. But it's way larger than this large intestine. Now it is the large intestine. What does the large intestine do? It absorbs the water from the leftover residue of the food. It helps to dry up the feces. Then it pushes the feces towards the rectum and comes in the form of food. Yucky! Fun facts about the large intestine. It's the part that makes poop. Let me cook something. That was delicious. And the large intestine is really not that large. It's way shorter than the small intestine. Just to the human diameter, it's large. Okay guys, so why is our poop brown? Because when the bile, bilirubin and food mix together, it creates a brown color. That's why our poop is brown. Look at the poop. Why do we burp and fart? Because the gases in the stomach are too much. They find a way to get out. Some go to eat the figures and it comes in the form of burp. The naughty ones go to a large intestine and it comes in the form of fart. So, I told you what the organs do to keep us healthy. Now it is our duty to keep them healthy. So exercise, I talk and running and jumping and any exercise to eat healthy food and to get nice rest. Oops, oops, oops. So hope you had so much fun and excitement and had fun and got a lot of knowledge. Bye!